Hello again. Um, your reverse lights are not coming on. What's the possible, possible problem? The schematic over here is pretty straightforward for this. This, for any other make or model, usually the same, except they threw in this MICU, which is almost like a body control module. So let's start from the beginning. Here you have a hot and on or start. That means either run or start, same thing when you have the key in that position this is connected to the battery which is not shown here but it's understood so current is flowing through this fuse number 21 which is rated at 7.5 amps now that's not a lot now remember it takes in the reverse there's two lights going on two bulbs so 7.5 amps is not a lot but that's the maximum so maybe about 6 amp or something like that it will draw goes current flows into this one pin 22 of this MICU which is like a body control module as I uh, stated so there are two paths over here we know two things have to happen for the reverse lights to go on one is obviously you have to be in the reverse with the gear shift how do you know if your reverse lights are on if you're sitting in the car right well, usually when I back up, I see the reflection, right? If you put it in neutral and you go back, lights not, don't go on, only in the reverse. So what I'm saying here is first thing is first. Look, expect if you go in this path over here, this is the again, the computer or the module, ATP reverse. Probably automatic transmission, uh, park, reverse, something like that. If you go come over here, the only contact over here that you have from this line to this line is when you are in reverse. If you are in any other position, neutral, this, 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 you are not making contact. You are not making contact with the rest of the circuit. You have to have a complete path to ground. The only one that will give you a complete path to ground is when pin 6 or the white wire is connected to pin 6 of this one, which is the black wire. If you are in the first, second, drive, neutral park, there is no connection up here. But that makes sense, right? Because it's only going to go on when it's in reverse. So out of the computer we come, or the module, out of terminal P25. You want to call it, it's a white wire coming into a junction connector, I call it. Where is it located? Now, it depends on the making a model, LX or EX. That's not really significant. What we are concerned is we have a complete path to ground. So, top of transmission, that's where it is located, this junction. It's like a, 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 a jump wire, jumper wire, I call it. Oh, but again, going in white wire, coming in a white wire out of here into pin 8. There's a connector here. Now again, transmission range switch, where is it located? On left side of transmission. So you have two things of transmission. This on the top, this on the left side. Coming out here, uh, pin six, terminal six, a black wire. Going to another junction connector to a black wire to a ground, a body ground, a physical, physical ground. Whenever you see G101 or G701, it's a physical ground. Where is it located? front of engine that's one part of the equation that's the first part that you need to act to activate this now we need we need the lights to go on obviously that's this part of the circuit now we went in 22 right we came out here now we're going to come out here you're going to come out q11 and a green wire to a splice we're going to go down here another again a green wire again these type of junction box are very popular with these Toyotas and Hondas, they love them. Um, going down, which way are we going to go? We have to go down this way because the bulbs are this way. You're not going to go this way because there's no connection right here except there's something else. We have to get to the bulbs. The only way to get to is this way. So this way, coming into A8, coming out F1, a connector, a green wire still, green, green wire. Again, a green wire, a green wire. And when we come to the two reverse lights, a connector, 
three and two, and three and two are the, the connectors. Going down to, again, a physical ground. So, basically, all in a nutshell. Put in reverse, that's number one. Number two, the light's light. Let's say, let's say, we always know that, okay, one light is out. We always know that, okay, it's that light that's out. Fine. We have a major problem. I'm backing up, right, into a parking space. The guy in back of me blows his horn, right? He says, hey, your lights are out. You're going in reverse. I could, you know, you, you know, you almost backed up into me, right? What's the problem, right? So now here is the problem. These two did not light. Why did they not light? We have to examine it. The obvious thing that you're going to first thing say is going to say the fuse blew, right? If the fuse blew, how much should I have voltage-wise? I should have 12 volts here. And how much should I have on the other side? I should have 0 volts at pin 22. Let's say the fuse is good. If the fuse is good, how much would it measure? So let's say 12 volts, 12 volts. Or, like I always say, like you see, if the alternator is on, it'll be 14 volts. So it'll be 14 volts here, 14 volts here, which it is. So, the fuse is good, right? Now, what, what can we do? We're not sure if our switch is in the right position. We put it in reverse, right? We put it in reverse, and we don't know if it's correct turning on the lights, but we're going in reverse. So something must be right, so the car must know that we are in reverse. So I'm not gonna be worried about this switch. I'm gonna be worried about this part of the circuit. So what can I do? Can I find this module? This modu module might, might be buried in somewhere under the dashboard. So what we do is we always want to find an easy point of access that's connected to it in the same line. So we go over here, we come down here, we come down here, and we say, okay, a junction box, right? Behind right rear side uh, trim panel. Might be a little difficult also to get to, right? So you know where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to the back, take out the lights, the connector. Which connector? The green and, bl and black wire and the green and black wire. I only have to do one. I'm going to go to the back because that's the easiest point of access. I'm going to look for 12 volts here or 14 volts of volt or whatever. I'm going to look for 12 volts here. If I have 12 volts here, chances are I have 12 volts over here also. Right? What could be the common thing for both? Remember, we have two lights that are out. Obviously, this module could be a problem. So how do I know? I come over here and I measure 12. If I don't have 12 volts over here, but I have 12 volts over here, that means something is wrong with this module. Right? But I come over here, 12 volts going in. 12, I take the connector out physically, and I put two, two uh, uh, probes in it, and we'll do hands-on, then you'll see. I measure 12 volts. Right? I go to this 12, measure 12 volts over here also. What does that mean? That tells me this connection is good. There must be something in between the splice that's bad. So in other words, if I go over here and I take this out over here, right? And I take this out over here, that tells me, you know what? Maybe the ground is not good. Because I just measure 12 here and I just measure, and I probably will measure 12 here also. The only thing that's common to knocking out both of these lights is this, is the fuse, is one of these lines, right? Um, like I said, if one of these wires, if one of, if this wire is broken to the connector, this can still light. If this wire is broken, this one can still light. These are in parallel. If this one is broken, both will be out. But we have 12 volts. That means this wire is good. What's the common thing? Maybe the ground, right? Maybe I have high resistance ground. So that's how you go, how you go about it. So again, it, let's say this would be broken, it's junction connected. Then I would have zero over here, I wouldn't have 12, okay? So anyway, uh, please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematic for Auto, and I'm gonna make another video, and hope uh, this was uh, useful.